But I'm here to tell, to tell you now, tell the devil, you got to lose your hope here. You're going to have to lose your hope. I'm tired of enemy making me live from week to week. Ain't got paycheck, ain't got no money. Come on here. Don't know what to do. Listen here, God said, I own all the silver. I own all the gold. I heard him said, ask largely that your joy may be filled. If you need money, just tell God, I need some money. Stop saying I need some change. I need some money. Won't y'all say amen? And God said, whatever you say, that's what I do. Many times I think we ask for crumbs, but the hour was coming. Coming out, no more crumbs. Uh uh, no more just making ends meet. No more just having enough to make it to next week. No, I want the whole month. I want my I want my mortgage paid in advance. I want to see the blessing of God. I want to see God's abundance on my life. Can you say amen? And if I don't see it, I'm going telling God, you said this and you said that. And you are God of your word. So I trust you to do what I ask you to do. Can you say amen? No more blaming someone else for our own shortcomings. In the scripture, they blame somebody else. They blame Moses. They blamed him and said, Moses, it's your fault. Amen. Bring us out here to die. But I'm here to tell you, don't blame nobody else. When you have the word of God in you, don't you blame folks, amen, for living the way you live and living the life you live. Instead of you coming to God and tell God, change me, change my attitude, change my mind, change my appetite. And if you come to God to change you, he'll change you. Stop blaming somebody else. No more complaining and murmuring. For they begin to complain and murmur and amen cry on the shoulders of a man of God. But you got to stand murmur and complaining is not the spirit of God. That's not the spirit of holiness. That's a demon that makes you frustrated. If you get frustrated, start shouting. Get this, amen. If you feel under pressure, say, God, I need to go on the praise for the spirit of heaviness. If I feel like I'm about to slap somebody, then I throw my hands and say, Holy Ghost, fall on me. Me. Lift your hands and say yes, Lord. Lift your hands and say yes, Lord. He said, No more, I'm no more resisting God. Amen. Some of us have resisted God. But here the Holy Ghost said, No more resisting God for the purpose of your life, for the purpose of your seed, for the purpose, amen, of your generation. You can't afford to resist God now because God said, I'm in motion. I'm coming now into my people. And God said, I want you to open up your hearts to me and receive what I've got for you. He said, Don't resist resist me don't kick against the brick but just tell God Lord have your way in me God have your way in me